the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Beginning from the day today, the church celebrates the fast of the Virgin St. Mary. And so I thought I would say a few words about fasting. Since we all fast this fast together as a church with great joy and praises, but we must also remember how to fast and why we fast. I know I've said this a lot and many times, but I think it's good to be repeated that fasting is an offering that we offer to the Lord. It's not something that we do for other people in the sense that our fast can be offered to the Lord for the sake of someone else or their problems or sickness or disease. But when we fast, we don't fast for others or because others want us to fast. But we fast as an offering. And the offering that we are offering is a secret offering between us and God. That's why the Lord warns us that when we fast, we have to wash our face and anoint our head with oil and do it in secret. And the Lord says, he who sees in secret will reward you openly. Our fast also is comprised of a vegan fast. So we fast vegan, and that's our offering. But fasting, in its original sense of the word, is refraining from eating to a certain point. So that to the extent that we can, we maybe skip a meal. Even if we're fasting, we try to offer something good. Ironically, we who live in this city, in this country, in this state, who never feel hunger because we have all that we need, we offer it back. And we say, I'll feel the pangs of hunger for your sake. St. Peter, in his epistle, this first epistle, says in chapter 5, verse 6, Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. So the fast becomes sort of a humbling of ourselves. Even though we have much, we push it off to the side. And we offer, instead abstaining. And then St. Peter continues, casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. So many times, especially in the past few weeks, I've been saying to people that something like love or offering between each other as humans is honestly and it's not so clear, but it's honestly a one-way street. The Lord asks us to offer love to others, and He even says specifically, expecting nothing in return. But oftentimes, we offer love only to expect something in return. We think of love as a two-way street. And we say things later like shmana, I gave and I keep doing, and I keep offering, and this person never gives anything back to me. It's not fair. But the Lord asks us, like I said, to offer, expecting nothing in return. That means love. That means sacrifice. That means anything that we want to give. We give expecting nothing in return. It's literally a one-way street. It's not the same with Christ. Because Christ, as St. Peter says here, casting all your care upon him, for he cares 
for you. He gives us back. And not only that, He gives us back before we ever even think to give. His sacrifice on the cross was not made because of any of our good deeds or our cares or our future offering. It was made and offered as a free gift. And so when we give to Christ, and when we offer to Christ, it becomes a very much a two-way street, and quite the opposite actually. He gives us more than we could ever offer. Not only that, He already gave us more than we could ever offer. So fasting then becomes a powerful experience between us and God. And when we do it, we are acknowledging our faith in Him. We are acknowledging His care for us and His sacrifice for us. And we are acknowledging also that in the future, that He can lift us up when we're down. And so that's why fasting also becomes for us the perfect opportunity to lay something before the Lord and say, help to fix this. This is one of my big cares, and I want you to help me fix it. Whether it be a personal struggle or sacrifice or sin, or a personal act that we continue to do that we want to stop, or a personal cross that's been put on our shoulders that we're asking for the Lord's help in helping us lift it. For instance, someone that's going through sickness might be bearing it willingly, but for perhaps struggling in their dealings with people because of pain, for instance. So they're bearing the sickness, but they find themselves getting very angry or getting very short. So they ask the Lord, Lord, I thank you for this cross. I want to bear it willingly, but help me to overcome my deficiencies in how I am bearing or accepting this cross. Or even asking the Lord to remove a cross from our backs that's too heavy, or at least to help us lift it. Any future worries, any cares about our children or our husbands or our wives, or our loved ones, our mothers and our fathers, brothers and sisters, any cares or worries, we can offer them with our fast and say, Lord, please this. When we, we deal with other people, we might be embarrassed to ask them something because we know they're busy or they have so much. But we're never embarrassed with our own fathers or our mothers. So my father or my mother Anytime I need something from them, I'm never embarrassed or like, well, maybe they're busy today. Maybe they don't want to talk to me. No, they're my mom or my dad. I talk to them as I wish. And we do that also with the Lord and in this fast specifically with the Virgin St. Mary. Our mother is capable and willing to offer intercession on our behalf. So when we are struggling or when we need something, we pray to the Lord and we ask Him. And we also, as almost like extra credit, we ask His mother, the Theotokos, the Virgin St. Mary, ask Him on my behalf. So this fast becomes then very powerful because it comes from both ways. We can ask the Lord directly and He hears us. And then we also ask the Virgin St. Mary to intercede for us on our behalf. Come at Him in two directions. So if you use this fast wisely and you fast it with thanksgiving and offering, then you can perhaps carry from yourself a worry or a care or trouble or a sin and improve your life and improve your health and improve your inner comfort. So let's make a pact all today to do this fast with thanksgiving and offer a true fast, a good offering. We're not going to cheat. We're not going to say, oh, it's, you know, I went to a place and there's not enough. No, we're going to offer the best that we have. We're going to put on our best clothes and wash our faces, like the Lord said, and anoint our head with oil and be happy and proud 
and fast with thanksgiving and prayer and praise and glorification, which we do especially in this path. And may the Lord lift from us our cares and our worries that we offer. And we ask the Virgin, the Theotokos St. Mary, to also ask on our behalf so that one, we can offer a perfect sacrifice to the Lord, and two, we can add something, a joiner, and have the Lord lift it from us once and for all. And glory be to God forever. Amen.